You forgot so, your microphone? Uh, I brought the arm. Yeah. I brought all the wires, uh, everything you need to do uh, a podcast except a microphone. Do you have a bed you reserved at the uh, nursing home? I figured we get them side One by side. Microphone. We can do our podcast intermittently when we remember. We can interview the nurse as she cleans our diapers. Are nah, you cleaning I... Alfred's diapers now? I'll be over to you in a minute, Al. <laughs> all right. Oh, that'll be fun. It's that'll gonna be, be great. <laughs> Break for what you've done, but I won't do it. What the hell's going on out here? You're listening or watching the Talking Dicks Comedy Podcast, Volume 215. <laughs> thought you were a pro what what happened to you well i'm podcasting without the microphone and i'm drinking coffee so uh people look up to you that's when pro. it comes to this that's shit pro. and you're letting them right. down that's a two dicks coffee mug there we go now i can see it oh two All dicks right. okay put your light and back if, on if you want one of these they're available uh for 22 dollars on patreon jump on board you get a personalized two dicks cup but, two dicks cup it's mm-hmm. a paper cup, and the reason why they're twenty two dollars is he has to sign it, then he has to mail it to me. I have to sign it, and then I mail it to you. So it's most of it, it's postage and handling. It's a process, and then we handle each other, and then we send it off. I was I have a question for you. I was watching a podcast earlier, uh, and in this one that I enjoy called "Are You Garbage?" Mm-hmm. Big, it's huge, and, uh, huge. And uh, I have a question for you from their uh, pod, and I was wondering because I. Well, I'll tell you after you answer. Did you growing up have Dixie Riddle cups in your house? And did you have the Dixie Riddle cup holder that stuck onto the wall in the bathroom or the kitchen? I've experienced it many times because my neighbors had them. And my family was so cheap. No, we had like these plastic cups that... I would chew on, so some of the teeth marks were on the edge of it. So, no, we did not have them. But I enjoyed them when I was over someone's house. Yes, they were good. We had them in the bathroom and uh, in the kitchen, so pretty trashy. Uh, Yeah. I remember you bought the cups, and if you bought a double cups, two rows, you got the holder was in the back of it. It was free, and you'd stick that to the wall. So it was a, a cup dispenser, more or less. A dispenser, but it was one of those 1970s versions where if you tried to take it off the wall ever, yeah. Yeah. it took all the paint and or wallpaper with it. Oh, so it was an adhesive. It wasn't like a screw on or anything like that. It was an adhesive. You just pulled off the tape, stuck it on. Wow. And you better hope that you were never going to, you were going to live there the rest of your life with that. I'm thing. sure it was toxic. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm sure there was lead in it and whatnot because today, that would be yes. unacceptable. You couldn't have that in your house. No, you have mycelia foma, whatever. What the fuck is that thing? Mycelia, that commercial that's on 24-7. What is that? Mycelia foma. The I, one where you breathe in asbestos. Yes. And my mm-hmm. father worked around asbestos all of his life. And oh. yeah. And he, of course, later in, he had breathing problems and whatnot, so. Cook the fish, Alfred. Alfred, you cook it in there. Cook the fish. My family had a diner, and on Friday, Wednesdays and Fridays, we'd have uh, fish and chips. and um, Fish fry? Fish fry. And I would go in on Wednesday and Fridays cause, because that's when my dad needed me the most. And um, Someone's got to cook that fish. I was in college, so I'd go in there, and it'd be a line yeah. out the door, and I would snort it. Mwah! Mwah! Cocaine joke. Thank you very much. That wasn't bad. I don't think you had to put the phony baloney laugh at the end. I think that was a pretty good joke, actually. I don't know why you felt. I'll fix it in post. Your your insecurity popped in there, and you you try to cover up what you thought was a bad joke. And why do I have these insecurities when I'm on air with you? Because you always zing me. Wow, that's a funny joke. That's bullshit. I like a comedian. I hope you're not doing that on stage. Hey, speaking of comedy, where are you this week, man? You're home right now. Are you? Are you I the leave road? in the morning. I head <laughs> to New Orleans to get on the beautiful radiance of the seas, and I will sail for two weeks, going to Cozumel, Costa Maya, and I think Grand Cayman. All right, I like one of those places. Those other two kind of stink. But you know, yeah, Cozumel is my favorite, and it's the first one, so it's all downhill after that. 
Exactly. Kostomai is not yeah. bad if you go into town. If you go, if you get away from the port area. Yeah, and, I haven't been there. The port but... area is fine if you're if you're a passenger and a tourist, but when you go to these ports over and over again, you want to venture out a little further, and that's but it's an effort. I went with a couple of guys, and they uh, they were raving about Ooh, these massages. Wow, waka, 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 waka. <laughs> they were raving about these massages on the beach. They yeah. go there, they get an hour of massage for two dollars, and uh, they nah. eat coconuts and get a hand job. And I was like, I don't do it because I don't like massages, so I didn't do it. I just had the uh, hand the job. coconut. Yeah, oh, the yeah. hand job exactly. Hand job is seventy five cents. Why did we put the word job at the end of that? Why? Well, it can, it's a workout. It can be a workout. But that was a mistake. Because now the women think it's going to be working right. well. Right. Other countries, wank in England, it's a wank. wank. That's fun. Who doesn't want to wank? Right. It's a good time. It's a party. Mm -hmm. There's no work involved. Mm -hmm. Job is very American. We like to fucking work. So this is even work. Al dusted you know that I mean? one off from his app from 1999. <laughs> <laughs> Locked and loaded. Freeze. I got nothing today, so I'm going to throw it in a little bit. <laughs> well, I, t I messaged you the, the weird uh, continuation of the story that I was telling you on the last pod about the actress, Charlby Dean, her dying of septus. Yeah, and when I did, when I posted on Twitter our uh, clip or whatever, no, our pod, she doesn't even trend. I mean, no offense to the poor girl. She's not even trending. I couldn't get a hashtag for her name to attach to our clip and our she, pod. Well, she is, uh, her career was just about to skyrocket. And uh, unfortunately, she passed away at 32 years old. But the point is, as I told you the story, I share the same birthday with her. I had septus many years ago. And... The timeline is a little, she, she was in a car accident when I was in the hospital at Septus. I can't remember exactly the, the lineup now with the dates, but so 48, 72 hours later, after I tell you this story on air, um, I'm having dinner with a couple who- Of lesbians. Who were her neighbor. They were neighbors. Oh. What? Coincidentally, another coincidence. Why? And last summer, they stayed at her house because their evac air conditioner broke during a heat wave. It was 103 degrees for a week. So they stayed at her place for a week until their evac was repaired. How about Ooh, that? Okay. Is that insane? That's, I'm having uh, dinner I, with I'm these blown folks. Away. What? It's An hour in. They said, yeah, we know that you had... Um, you know, your issue there with the set, you had septus at one time and the woman, uh, the young woman next to us, uh, she just passed away. And I went, Charlby, Dean, they went, you know her. And so it was crazy. Wow. Now, Charlby also bought the house across the street from them for her parents that were going to move from South Africa. So, and she just signed a 1.5 deal with some big jewelry company she was going to sport their jewelry on the runways and this movie apparently the triangle of sadness um was going horrible to name that's not a good name for a movie i'm just saying no one's going to see the triangle of sadness well it's more sad now but she's in uh, it. it's, I, yeah I, but that's a terrible name and she's in a anyway. bikini and she's in a bikini and i saw her scar is that what you call it yeah. how dare you is that a Rhode Island term? No, there's two ways to make the scar. You can go the uh, up and down or the sideways. I have the sideways. She had the up and down. I I actually prefer the up and down. You can it's less visible if you're yeah. uh, ba bathing Be or at the beach. Well, for you, yeah, bikini season can be rough with a side by side. Or you want the up and down? I see. Mm. Yeah, and by the yeah. way, thank you for the hand me down bikini. It uh, actually fits pretty well. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you grew out of well, it. Well, I, I lost all that weight. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. Wow. All right. So we got that out of the way. But that's weird. I, I, I mean, I, I, you know, sad story. I just weird that she wasn't trending. I mean, I never heard of her, but I Did thought you spell I spell it correctly. No, I spelled it uh, T E D. For some reason, I called her Ted. So maybe that was a mistake. Yes, I spelled it correctly. What am I, a fucking doof? Come on. 
Huh? All right. How, how else fine. do you spell Charles B? Who were these people who were at dinner knowing her? How does that happen? Um, do you know Brian Frazier? He's originally from Long Island, comedian, uh, but he attended college in Boston and um, I think, was it BU? Um, he and his wife, Nancy, she's a television writer and uh, they're the ones we had dinner okay. with. Yes, um, we, we've discussed him. He used to frighten me in comedy clubs. I, I felt like he, I, it was one of those guys I didn't know what was going to happen at any moment and he kind of i was you know more normal stand up and he'd be look at my wingspan and yeah he was I had a burst of energy i remember now we, we talked about it he had a burst yeah. of energy that would come out and uh some people couldn't handle it and you were one of those people that was uh not open to different it. styles of comedy no i was open to things i just I, him personally well he's going to be like listening he's, to the podcast it's one of those, no it's great and he was a well, great comedian great. i'm just saying it was that thing of I always felt like he was like a puppy. Like one minute you're petting a puppy, the next minute he bites your face. I always yeah. felt like he might just bite my face at any moment. Like, oh, yeah. is, it, is this because of current experiences that you've had with uh, Teddy, your dog? No, he hasn't been biting me. But, uh, we may have a, this is going to air Monday. This is airing Monday. So we'll have the re, the re, uh, what happened. But my niece, Olivia, flew home uh, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. on southwest oh and now she's supposed to be back oh she's uh, never getting in, back in clearwater friday because she's gonna stay and watch not only our dog kelly's sister and her husband are staying with us they have two little dogs so oh. we were gonna pay olivia to spend new year's eve at the condo watching three dogs and then we go for charlotte i do my shows we have fun but now southwest olivia's in maryland Train. And when this airs, she may or may not have been there. We don't know how it, I, at this moment, I don't know how it uh, all worked Well, there's out. a reason why it's Southwest reasonable. is so reasonable. The tickets are super reasonable. It's open seating. They charge you for a carry-on, a personal bag. They, you know, There's a reason why it's so cheap, because their entire system is archaic. It cannot right. keep up with today's technology and demand. And the pilots right. have been bitching about it for five years. They've been bitching to their union about it. This is we're heading. This is going to be like the the, the, the Titanic, and we could see the fucking iceberg three miles away. And you guys are not doing anything. Full steam ahead. Yeah, I have an old friend from uh, my hometown and childhood hometown. He's a Southwest pilot, and he's written about it on Facebook for five years. Yeah, it's all it's all held together with masking tape and yeah. string, and it's all bullshit. And the billions of dollars they're going to lose they took because it of all. this fuck they, up. And they, they took it all. The corporate fat cats took it all. Instead yeah, of bonuses. It into, into Re the system. reinvesting in into the system, they took their. Oh, I get three million dollars a year base, and then I get my twenty-seven million dollar <laughs> bonus because I saved right. so much money. And then they fuck the airline. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, then they, people, and then they, and they blame the union saying, oh, the unions, dude, you know, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so we don't know. Now this, I'm a SAG this, after guy. This is going to air Monday. So we'll find out. But at this moment, I don't know if <clears throat> what she's going to, she may bring the dogs here to the hotel. Uh, she may, our neighbor may have their niece, may be able to, I don't know. We're up in the are air. You allowed, are you allowed pets in the hotel? Do you got to pay a pet fee? As a as a pet fee, fifty dollar. And these uh, dogs have never met. No, they never met. No. Oh, it's but they're older. Be... The sisters' dogs are older. They're not going to care about Teddy, you know. And uh... Uh, annoying little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> never done that before. He's never killed a puppy before. <laughs> <laughs> well, Teddy, he's a year old on New Year's Eve. So is that his puppy still one year? Yeah, one year him, new, new Teddy. Year. Oh, yeah, Teddy. Oh boy, I've been monitoring his behavior. He is puppy <laughs> for life. Um, they called it puppy love. Oh, I'd, like, I'd like to be Donny Osmond at seventy five in Vegas singing that fucking thing to some eighty year old woman. Oh my god, that's gonna. How be would you horrible. like to be Bill Cosby at eighty five performing stand up comedy? Huh? How about that? Let me ask you a question. I got I'm my tickets. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Well, I'm trying to get tickets to his funeral, but uh, they're not on sale yet. Oh, you don't want to see the cause? You don't. He was my childhood cars? hero, comedian. 
I hated him. I know I wouldn't go anyway, even if he didn't rape all these. I never liked him. Boring. I love. I loved him. I loved him. Sit on. But I have this thing about older black men. Two hours. That's why. Older African American men. Discuss. No, I just have a thing. I have a thing for them. A thing? You mean? Oh, I did. Okay. An attraction, if you will. I have an attraction. It's not sexual. It's just I have a thing. You like? You like? Oh, yeah. Well. I like you the know. cool, the cool factor. The uh, did you ever meet? You ever meet the cause? I met a couple of black men before. Yes. No, the cause. I've never met him. Never met him. Uh, I did see him perform one time, and I'm. Uh, we were supposed to meet him. Uh, we were comedians, and we were performing on a bus, like a trolley bus, going to his show. Who books and- that? This is when I was a young fella. <laughs> they, brought, they they brought us good. there and good, uh, good. we performed on a on a oh. on a microphone like a radio microphone. <laughs> hey, how you doing, oh, folks? Well, go to the Charlie ride. We're gonna go see the funny guy, but until then, you got to deal with us. And it was like you oh, know, it was like a twenty five minute ride, and well, we had to do, we had to do t- ten minutes each or something. People jumping out windows as the yeah. bus is moving. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ! Yep. It was all that. And um, That's then uh, then he wouldn't receive us backstage. Well, he was busy, you know, drugging and a raping, so. drugging and a raping, yeah. drugging and a raping. <laughs> Sing it. <laughs> I don't know the next lyric. I thought you were going to jump in. Uh, drugging and raping and fucking <laughs> and killing. I don't know. Killing. <laughs> Kill. I made him worse. Uh, I made him a bit of a murderer. He did. You turned him as an um, OJ. You went right for the OJ thing because you're a racist. I have a great, oh, I have a great Cosby story, but I've told it. But it's in my book. Check out my book. It's on Amazon. What's Check the name up. of the book? I, the book is uh, what is the name? Uh, uh, how about a hand for the last guy? I'll send you the book. How about yeah. a hand for the last guy? And I'd open. It'd be, it it'd be a good idea story. to remember the name of your book. As a matter of fact, I didn't remember it, and I, that's why I was asking you. <laughs> It's been a while. Uh, been a while. But it opens with the Cosby story and then goes from there. Let's tell us big... tell the Cosby story That's now great. so it entice some sales. So available on most, Amazon. A lot of people have heard the Cosby story. But in a nutshell. You gotta remember we have we have new listeners every week, and we have listeners that cancel their subscription to patreon.com forward slash the two dicks named after our web series but this is the podcast and if you want to see the video version of it go there and as little as five dollars a month you get to see this other videos and you get special gifts and prizes mailed to you direct free of charge there it is true alfredo thank you and uh um i forget my point now why don't you why don't you you give a signed signature of your book if they join the patreon what are you dumb? Well, it's an ebook, so that might be difficult. But I will, I'll do it in spirit. Of I'll say that's a signed ebook for you. But that's just an ebook. You just download it onto your phone. Kindle, There's no hard copy. Computer. No hard copy. No. No. I thought you had a hard copy. Sir, no, I did not. Never did the hard copy. I thought you held it up. Did you? Or was that just a picture of it? Might have been a picture. Might have been a picture of the book. Well, maybe. Your girlfriend will order you a hard copy or a you know paperback copy. Paperback. Maybe, copy. Maybe, can you order that? Can you order like uh, fifty copies? Copy. And then uh, sure, put them in the gift yeah, you shop. Can make them. Yeah, you can make uh, the hard copies. I was going to do that. Bring them. That's what. I, that's a box to bring on the road or the ship or whatever. It's like, is it worth it? Uh, uh, it was a novelty. You know, maybe not. Not, not so yeah. much to bring it, but just a. Send them out as gifts, signed copy, right? To our Patreon, true members. that. All right, well, join the Patreon and I'll boom, get you a signed. Boom. I'll get you a signed copy. It opens with the Cosby story. Uh, you know the story, Al. Why don't you tell it? To no, I'm, the I'm horrible. The man yeah. comes into the bedroom, he doesn't wear the pants, he does not got the pants on, and he's standing there and he says, Drink this, young lady. I'm going to make you a star, but I don't want you to be here when it happens. Like the jello pudding. Um, 19, uh, 
I want to say 1992. I want to say that. 93. All right. That's what I want to say. Radio City Music Hall was the ESPY Awards. They used mm -hmm. to do the, I think they still do the ESPYs. And uh, I got the gig as the opening act for the ESPYs. I stand on stage at Radio City and I, I do 10 minutes while people are coming in. So all these football players, base, all athletes, lawyers, agents, managers, they're all sitting, standing in the hall, in the aisleways. And you're talking. going, why do they call it a blowjob? Don't let women think that it's work. They won't do it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that was there. I'm oh, sorry. Know. Continue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so they, they, they ignore the whole. So it, go, it was very, very difficult set. Very tough. But I end, and that's uh, John Goodman's the host. And uh, he's nervous. He can't go out there. He's too nervous. He's not a comedian. He's not a public speaker. He's just an actor. So anyway, he goes, hey, man, where are you going? I said, I don't know. I'm done. I go, he goes, go in my tent and wait for me. Uh oh. And he goes, hang out there. Hang out Dr there. Drink this uh, first. Yeah, exactly. I was like, eh. <laughs> but uh, it was old. So anyway, they had a big tent set up with racks of shirts. Because every time Goodman came off stage, he would do the old like movie. He would rip his shirt, mm -hmm. his, his tuck shirt. And literally, I swear to God, water would come off it like a shower. He was drenched. This is the fat John Goodman. This is 1990. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he they put on another shirt. He'd open the cooler, throw me a, a can of uh, Budweiser. He'd kill a Budweiser. Then he'd go back out. <laughs> okay. This is the night, right? Yeah. So, uh, so I'm sitting back there drinking a Bud, sitting on the cooler. I'm in my dumb tux, and you know I bombed out there for ten minutes. And the producer came up to me and said, "Hey, we need you to go back out." Uh, Willie Nelson just finished, and uh, we got to strike the set. We got about five minutes, so we need you back out there. And I'm like, I don't have any more material. Like I'm out. I don't know. I what? I can't. I can't. So mm. as I'm stuttering and being like, I can't. Mm. Cosby, fucking Doctor Cosby walks up. Here's what's happening, mm -hmm. and goes and goes. The boy has done his job to the producer. And this producer, has got his head set. He doesn't even mm -hmm. like, what? what? Oh, hold on, hold on. What? Oh, he goes, we just need him for five minutes, five minutes. And he repeats the same thing. The boy has done his job. He had your back. Had my back. And, he wanted uh, your front. He wanted your front. <laughs> he, he got my ass later, I'll tell you that. But uh, so <laughs> as this goes on, this eats a minute. This eats another minute. And Cosby's got his hand on my shoulder, just going, the more. It's only keeping repeating. It's mm -hmm. like a maniac. And then the producer's like, how much time? Fuck it. All right. You know, he goes, forget it. We don't have the time. Forget it. Sorry. And he walks away. And then I look to say to Cosby, I go, thank you. Because that, you, know, you mm -hmm. as I'm turning to literally go, thank you, you just see him. He's gone. He's 50 <laughs> feet already gone. He, he just mm -hmm. popped in, saved my ass, and took off. Probably saw some... Uh, you know, a woman that he could drug a little bit later and lost interest in my situation. And this but is honestly, why you were a um, you were at his testimony uh, in his on his behalf, saying what a good on person. His he was. You're on his, I was on his testicles, actually. Yeah, you're giving testimony. I was on his testicles. <laughs> you were on his testicles. You're standing on his yes. testicles. <laughs> They're big. Those are. Have you yeah. seen those? That's what I heard. I, I heard. I, I'm not a big guy. I stood right on him and uh, gave my testimony. But uh, he <laughs> saved my, I mean, when you think about it, you know, I'm a very young comedian. And he, like, in his, he, to him, he looked at it like, is a comedian going to be taken, well, it's kind of ironic, going to be taken advantage of. And uh, God, he right. wanted to stop it. He mm -hmm. was going to take advantage of someone in a few minutes. But right. for me, he was going to help me. And he really did save me because I would have went out there because, you know, you don't say no when you're, 29 years old or whatever and uh i would have been out there going uh i don't know I got nothing you know well this so triggered this triggered my story and I'll, I'll keep it brief um at the apollo the same thing happened to me they called the comedy club which i was at stand up new york and they said we need a comedian for the the break so carrie hoffman the owner said you charm i just came off stage go to the apollo i was like what get a taxi it's waiting for you go so I went there and uh, same thing. I did 10 minutes. 
great crowd, just loving it. Comic relief. Same thing. We have a glitch. You got to go back. <laughs> was this the TV? This was the TV show. Yeah, this was the TV show. It was. It was. Yeah. It was this some music award show? It was it a music award oh, show? I, I okay. don't know exactly. It wasn't Night right. at the Apollo, but it was mostly of that ilk of a crowd. And right. For some reason, right. I just they dug me for ten minutes, maybe yeah. eight or nine. I don't know what I did. And then when they said, you got to go back out, we're having a technical issue. I went out and I sucked my own dick and they let me oh. know that I sucked. <laughs> I was sucking my own dick and they wanted me to choke on it. You want to go, don't you remember me? I was, I was the guy, the enjoyment? I'm we the white guy that came out here and crushed it. Yeah. Remember those days? But I didn't have the balls I'm to say, no, I'm not going out. Adios. The boy is done. I, I wasn't quick on my feet. I should have said, I got to get back to the club and ran out the door. Right. I was like, just there was all these celebrities. Run DMC yeah. was in the parking lot with limousines, with music. It was like, it was crazy. I wanted to see the yeah. spectacle. Yeah. And you didn't have a, a cause to help you out. Like, I would have no. done the same thing. I wouldn't back out there. But he, uh, so that my book opens with that story and then goes from there. And it's on Amazon. And uh, check it out. If you check will. it but, out. Um, Check it out. I have a quick question here, Alfredo, while I'm in my hotel room. And is it a Charlotte. question that you have, or is it a question that a listener is sending in? Because we do answer listeners' questions occasionally. That is true. And uh, we do not have any listener questions this week. So I have a question. I'd like to hear your, and I'm sure it'll be, you'll do it perfectly. But I'd like you to say two words for me. And I'd like you to differentiate the, the two words as you say them. The first word being salsa, as in Mexican food, salsa, and the drink, the water drink, seltzer. Now, if you were going to say those two words, how would, let me know, say them in a sentence, and then let me hear the difference between each word, if you would. Okay. Today. Wow. This salsa is pretty hot. I'm going to need some seltzer to wash it down and cool off my mouth. Mm -hmm. That was perfect. Thank you. That's our pod for today. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the fuck? You thought, you thought for sure, Ducharme, I'm going to do this to Ducharme. He's going to fucking yeah. screw this up. He's going to screw it up. And I'm going to, yeah, go ahead. What, what, what was the purpose? No, that, that was not the purpose. Uh, the other night, uh, I was at the uh, uh, condo with my uh, lovely girlfriend, Kelly. Kelly, and, Kelly. And we were having some wine. And no. then she was, she was making a little uh, tostado Mexican thing. Mm -hmm. And she said, would you like any seltzer with it? Mm -hmm. And I go, well, I'm having the wine. So I go, I'm good. And she was like, what? She goes, no, seltzer. If you want seltzer uh, with the the uh, tostados. I go, I yeah, I go, I have wine. Though. I'm good. I don't really need any seltzer. And then she starts laughing. And then she's like, what's going on here? Seltzer. Do you need seltzer? Again, I'm, but I'm, she thinks I'm kidding. I'm not, I'm like, I, I have wine. I don't need any seltzer. She's mm -hmm. saying salsa. She says salsa. As seltzer, and uh, I think we have to break up. So that's I the think point. so. I, I think it's uh, a regionalism uh, accent. Uh, Isn't she from uh, the upper Midwest, kind of? Yeah, Michigan. Right? So Michigan. She's got the lake salsa. effect. The lake salsa. effect does affect uh, all of that. It's you a, know, it's all well, I'm from New England. So I, you know, my accent will pop out here and there, and, you know, it comes hey, out. Now, is that that's what you call that thing of yours? Your accent? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. When you see my accent? Sorry if my accent pops out. Sorry my accent <laughs> pops out. <laughs> <laughs> and the boy is done his job. <laughs> did you hear? Did you see the accent on that guy? Holy! Shit. Holy shit! <laughs> Woo! I didn't see you that coming. Quite an accent. <laughs> Folks, um, so yeah, so so that became a bit of a thing, and then we had a nice laugh over salsa, salsa.
But First she of all, there's certain words. Yeah, Michigan. All whatever, I know is on the last or... podcast, your your lady, her hand came into frame on camera with a glass of wine and handed oh, it. Oh yeah. Mid podcast, and I'm like, "What's the how problem? Nice is that? How, how dare you complain about Kelly?" Uh, I'm not. Is that a complaint? It's no, podcast I don't know. fodder. It's a... Podcast fodder. So oh, that's true. I'm just I trying to so. think of a podcast fodder. See my notes. Seltzer salsa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. I got nothing here. Got I don't know if she's gonna be. Me. I don't know if she's gonna be handing you a, a beverage, an adult beverage, at any time uh, soon. Anyways, after that no, story, no, I, I'm not saying. I'm not saying anything Ooh. wrong with it. I'm just saying I her the way she says salsa. Sounds like it. seltzer. Yeah, it's a and it's it, a regionalism it, accent. Uh, that's what I'm going with, uh, Kelly. You're a little Abbott and Co- a little Ab- Abbott and Costello. Well, you know what when I mean? you when you have um, you vanilla seltzer? ice cream, do you, do you do you do you put in any um, brown syrup on it? And what is that called? When you get a or Plus. you get a you get a box of candies, and they're brown. What do you call it? Jimmy's. Jimmy's. That's what I call it. <laughs> what do you call it? Sprinkles. Woo! Wow. I, I, wish we, I wish we were big enough to get canceled. <laughs> I wish we were big enough to get canceled. Oh, those are Jimmy's, man. Come on. All right. Aren't, um, they, aren't they? Is that the name? We You're were told. We, went, we, we, we covered this. Um, uh, growing up. In like Newport Creamery, the local ice cream place, uh, a chain of uh, stores in Rhode Island, on the board, you could put different, it said toppings, and it gave you a list of toppings. Strawberry, that's how you would say strawberry in Rhode Island, strawberry. And one of the toppings was Jimmy's. And as a kid, you're thinking, oh, chocolate little treat. And they were little brown (laughs) chocolates. They almost looked like worms. But that that was racist. That that was nickname, from what I understand, white people sprinkling uh, African Americans on their ice cream. It was like the biggest racist underlining wow. thing. And we, yeah. I mean, because kids are like, "Oh, I want Jimmy's on my ice cream." I mean, we didn't know what we were saying. We didn't know the meaning of it. We thought it was some when, company when, uh, made Jimmy. I had heard and- that. Yeah, I had heard that, and I knew about it since my grandmother was in Rhode Island. We always get Jimmy's on our ice cream cone. Right. But uh, I remember watching Django Unchained, and uh, Don Johnson's calling all the black people Jimmy's. Jimmy's. He goes, get that Jimmy over here. Don't yeah. That's not one of my Jimmy's. And I was like, oh, Jimmy's. I forgot about that. <laughs> yes. And the other Jimmy's thing, Jimmy's the other thing, the, the, the nuts, the toe. The toe, the, tone, the hook, it looks like a hoof. It looks like an animal hoof and a toe, but the white people had another name for it. And Louis C.K. did an episode on it about his 90-year-old aunt. Well, oh, I don't know the... Are we, so what toe are we talking about? Are like on an it's animal a, it's a nut. It's like a walnut, but not. it's a different shape. It looks oh, like walnut. a walnut. And they had a... They had it, they used the N-word. N-word? And she here she uh, is, this 90-year-old woman offering the kids a bowl of these nuts. And, uh, and, and they're they're like, yeah. Whoa, whoa, what is she saying? Oh my lord. And he's like, She's old, and this is what they would call them back. He's trying to give, give give this the woman with you know, senile woman an excuse yeah. for using this racist word. I remember as a kid, <laughs> chocolate babies. Remember the candy chocolate? Ba- it was a box uh-huh. of chocolates that were shaped like little people. Babies, yeah. And in the 50s and 60s, they were N-word babies. No. And that's what they were called. Yeah. No. 100%. Oh, my God. And not in a quote-unquote bad way. That was just the name of the candy. Then they <laughs> went, oh, we can't. We shouldn't say that. We'll make them chocolate babies. And then that got to a point, even that was like, we got to get rid of that. You can't have this no. fucking little chocolate people and whitey sitting eating them. That's not no. going to look good. Uh, it is even amazing though, how that has actually happened, you know, not too long ago. Not long ago at all. During our yeah, lifetime, there yeah. was candy called N-word babies. Well, before you know, before that, the 50s, but still not. Not long. Yeah. Not long, not long ago. Were, I mean, there, there were things that carried on throughout the 70s even i I can't think of an an example but 
But um, I remember because my dad was, you know, New York City guy, born and raised in New York City, and uh, not a the, one of the least racist type people. But he would go like, "Oh, let's get a, get get a box of those N word babies," and we'd be like, "Whoa, Ooh, I don't think you can say that." And this is like nineteen seventy five. Wow. We're like, "I don't think you can say it." He's like, "Oh, that's what they're called." And then a few years later, he realized, "Oh shit, it has, that, that was yeah. awful. That was yeah. that but was yeah." Bad. Did- but what I'm saying, he, was, know. he was conditioned to, that was the vernacular. He wasn't associating yeah. it with no, no. racism. He well, was it's just. Like, it sounded the same way if I call you jokingly, call you a fag. Right. We're not doing it because we grew up with that word. And yeah. I get it. You don't say it anymore. I get it. But if I do say it, it doesn't mean anything derogatory. It means I'm just making fun of, in my eyes, you're being faggy. Which again was a good word to have. They just got hijacked, and now we can't say it. But well, first it's of actually all, a good word. Before we started recording, you called me a fag. That's number one. Right, right. Well, that's what. <laughs> Not that it's a term of a, a word of endearment, but it's no. When you call somebody a pussy, yeah, it's usually you call a friend. Yeah, yeah a buddy. Jokingly, a buddy. You're calling him. I wouldn't call someone I don't know a fag. Right, you know, you it's your a, a buddy's a fag. I mean, yeah, what's up, faggy? What's but I've been faggy? called, but I've been called a fag by a total stranger. Well, <laughs> you got to stop blowing people. That <laughs> the blue. <laughs> well, I was trying to get into the club. <laughs> Hello, oh, the boy has done God. his job. <laughs> <laughs> Let him in. Let the boy in. Let him in. Um. Hey, by the way, I was looking at our uh, football results. I know this is the favorite part of the show. People love the football Don't tune picks. out. Because sometimes the, the funny, our, sometimes the funny be, will come out. Let's see. Uh, we, we try to make it shorter and funnier, yeah. uh, this uh, the football. Bit. Eh, it's still not working. But uh, last week, uh, Alfredo, you, uh, you, had, you took the Bengals over the Patriots. That was a good pick. Well done. Mm-hmm. You also took the Vikings over the Giants. Well done. And then you took the Raiders over the Steelers and you missed on that one. Uh, so you went two and one. I went one and two. And we have another week of picks. This is getting close now, getting into the one more, two more weeks. Uh, 17. Is it 17? Week and 17? Then we'll, yeah. Week seven. I think it's week 16. Are Sunday, you sure? Week 16. Well, I think there's 17 weeks. So I think we have two weeks left. They added, but they added a, a week, they added an extra game. Yeah, that's seventeen. Isn't that seventeen? Right. Oh, how many We've games completed... of the NFL have been completed? Fifteen. Uh, da, da, are you sure? I'm. Well, I mean, I, you know, I'm not positive. I'm not going to bet Brian Bennett, the concrete king of Tampa Bay, over it. But I'm pretty positive. You know. That's why can't I, Why can't this just come up week. when I I ask Siri? Well, there's two weeks left, sir, and there's 17 right. games. You so know this what? This would be week 16. You are correct. All right. All right. I just Thank want to you. double check the facts. That's all. Uh, okay. All right. Um, so we got three games this week. Let's pick them in the league where they play for. Hey. Hey. Uh, Jets, Seahawks. Huge game. Mm. Playoff implications. Yeah. Jets. Seahawks. Uh, I feel like that one. Geno Smith. Is that who we're looking Gino, at? Geno, the ex Jet. Mm-hmm. And who is this new? Who? Who's? Who? Yeah, the ex Jet. So that might be an advantage, actually. That might be an advantage. I'm gonna go with the Seahawks. I'm gonna go with right. Steve Smith's Hawks. See what happens. Um, I would say, uh, I would, I would probably do that. I'll take the Jets for fun and games. They have Mike White as the quarterback. He uh, broke his ribs a couple weeks ago, but it does seem to give him a spark. Uh, that's a tough one. I think the Seahawks win on that. Uh, Steelers versus Baltimore Ravens in the league where they play. For pay. Or pay. Lamar Jackson uh, returning, correct? Uh, I think that's game time to see. Question, questionable. I'm I'm going to go with the Ravens because they did win the last. Did they win the last one? I can't. Uh, I'm going to go. With I the don't Ravens. remember, but I'm going to go with the Steelers. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a. Just when you hear that, it's two teams. That just sounds like cold weather running. 
halfbacks yeah. running the ball. Yeah, well, Steelers, then... Ravens. Yeah, take the under. If you're going to bet that game, my pick would be take the under, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's and I, we don't even know who the quarterbacks are for either team. That's right. an under. For I'm, fun, you take the. I'm putting Steelers. the house on the under. Okay, I'm going to go with well, again. I'm going to go with the birds. All right, mm-hmm. and uh, I would put anything you have on the under. And the third game, uh, it's Monday Night Football, probably the best game of the season in the league where they play for pay. Okay. The Bills play the Bengals. Josh Allen. I know. And Burrows. Uh, Joe Burrow. What, who do you got? Burrow. You go with that, Burrow. That's going to be – that is the, the game of the season right there because both of those uh, quarterbacks have uh, – had moments of shining and but they're being very consistent right now. So, um, and they're franchise guys. So uh, I like that Josh Allen. I like them both, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the bills. I'm going to go with the bills on this. Bills. You just said Bengals. All right. I'll switch no, I said, it up. Cause I, I, said, like it. I said, Josh Allen. I like that Josh Allen. Okay. I'm taking the uh, Bengals. I like Joe Burrow. I think I think somehow Mahomes is going to lose, and that's going to be your AFC championship game, Buffalo Cincinnati, and the winner of that probably going to win the Super Bowl. It's either I mean for me, I think Super Bowl winner Bills, Bengals, or Eagles. Chiefs. I don't buy it. I don't buy yeah. it. Yes, you think it's hollow? Well, fool's gold. All right, if you will. All right, they're eleven and tw- two, twelve and one, but still, I don't buy it. A little. Same with the Vikings. I don't buy them. I think they're just – Yeah. I, I don't see that as a yeah. playoff going far in the playoffs. But okay. the Eagles do look great. Um, and uh, will it all be decided this weekend? So when this comes out on Monday – and by the way, our, we have listeners now in Liverpool, England. Wow. Because we talk about the Beatles so much. Maybe that's that's the reason. It jumped, maybe an algorithm dropped it into their lap. And, uh, we'll have to hashtag yeah, we had, Liverpool. That's right. We had one. We have three on the last one. And, well, welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, from Liverpool. Yes. Oh, excuse me, Belch, Belch. Um, we appreciate you listening. We hope you made it this far into the podcast. Um, very exciting to be heard in that part of the world. And I've never been. Have you been? Did you go there and do the? Did you do the Abbey Road and all that? Is that even in Liverpool? I don't even know. That's how. Or sore subject. Um, but I was well, I was gonna go, then COVID hit, and then I didn't go, and I want to go, and I'll probably go next year. Uh, Abbey Road's in London, right. but Liverpool has uh, Strawberry Fields, Penny Lane. That's and, what it is. Okay. Yeah, the Cavern and all that. So yes, I want to go. I have not been, but uh, yeah, we. I picture some Liverpool young person or maybe old person, maybe on that double decker bus, driving down Penny Lane, listening to the Talking Dicks comedy podcast and immediately saying why am i doing this and moving on to something else <laughs> but we we thank you for your listenership at Poor Ringo. <laughs> and, uh, um can Paul you do any dead. of the voices Paul is dead what can you, can you you're a voice man can you do I'm a any voice of the man poor... in a world <laughs> where there were men and voices he was both he was voice man um pretty good um, the four Beatles, four different voices, similar but different. Can you do one or any of them and differentiate between who's who? The big answer, no, because I just okay. did. I just did two of them, and you didn't even acknowledge it. Why? Well, that's why it made, no. That's why it popped in my head because I didn't know which one that was. I was asking, like, can you like like John's voice is very different than Paul? Yeah, like, more know, nasally. But, He's more, more nasally. nasally. Yeah. Right, right, right. The ring goes kind of deep, kind of a deeper uh, uh, voice. But it was my drums. Right. You touch my kit again. I made him Scottish. I don't know why I did that. But... So the answer was no. Okay. The well, that's no. All. You know, I wanted... said no up yeah. front. What the fuck? You gotta... <laughs> Holy, we, just the... lost, we, just, we just lost Liverpool. <laughs> Back God to the damn studio. It. Damn it. <laughs> we I had them. We had them right uh, there. So Motherfucker. Close, 
I need a place to stay. I need a, a, a tour guide. I need a, you know, I need a hookup. I need a, you need a hooker. I want to get a, no, a hookup. So well, I, I, Kelly, I, I was, I was lying. He doesn't need a hooker. I call call. Hold on. Who is this? Oh, wow. Okay. A phone with a cord engine on room? it. Engine room. Engine room. Why the hell is my drink? <laughs> I mean, I'm from 19. I'm from 1968. I'm a time traveler. Yeah. yeah look at that. <laughs> what? I don't even know why they're bothering. Look at the phone in the hotel. Like, Look what it's come down to. The uh, hotel phone is just well because people the cordless phones people were taking. So they said, you know, go back to the corded ones. Look at that. But there's no there's no like button like if I need the front desk or uh, no, you know, maintenance or housekeeping. They're like walk you tubby. Know? Yeah, yeah. They don't you don't get any of that. You just get yeah. we we gave you a phone. That's it. Shut up. Now shut up. Now shut up. You know? And check out. Um, it's like the uh, flight attendant. Someone's bid. Whose bid is that with the oh, flight attendant? They're throwing peanuts. Now, shut up. <laughs> Jimmy Schubert is, Here's your peanuts. Shut up and watch Shrek like the rest of these animals. <laughs> <laughs> I love quoting other comedians. We got to make sure we get the names right. Did you? Can I? Do you know Dan Natterman, New York comedian, super funny. Everybody tries to quote uh, his joke. Someone tried I've to. I've never met him. He's so funny, though. I watch his clips, and I'm a big oh. fan. I think he's great. I think he's he, great. I heard he, he does some shit too. He's done tons to of, uh, you know, like Conans and Letterman's and whatever Tonight Show. He's just he's perfect for that. Like five oh, minutes, just not. Nah, he's got that cadence, 1940s, 50s cadence, and just very clever with his jokes. But someone tried to tell one of his jokes the other night at dinner, and uh, I'll try to do it. But I, I didn't hear it from. Dan, I've heard it from two different people. And he said, yeah, my uh, I remember when I was in high school, my sex education teacher came it's going in. Viral. Oh, it's it just is? going viral. Because Louie was on with Tom Segura, and he told this. He said it's his favorite joke right now. So it went viral. But yeah, tell the joke. It's a great Great joke. I've I've told it to a bunch of people already. Uh, yeah. I'm, again, I'm paraphrasing from third party, so I, I didn't hear yeah. it from Dan direct. So he goes, my sex education teacher uh, brought a banana to class and uh, to show us how to uh, put a condom on. Uh, he didn't put him on the on the banana. He just couldn't get an erection on an empty stomach. <laughs> 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 I'm paraphrasing from third party. Uh, I'm, sure so funny. I'm sure it's funnier if someone else does uh, it the correct way, but it's so uh, funny. Without being it's interrupted so funny. by your podcast. Yeah, that yeah, that was the joke. I don't think I interrupted at all. And uh it's a great joke. I think a, a peanut joke. gallery I, I never... is that the peanut gallery? Yeah. What is the peanut gallery saying today? Without being interrupted by your podcast. You hear that? No, I didn't hear what you said. She said it was very funny when you're not being interrupted by your podcast partner. Oh, okay. What? Oh, the, the fact that I said that. She said that was funnier, I guess, than the joke. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. Well, Dan Adderman, right, killer. Uh, yeah, that I had never heard that joke. And then I was watching a clip and it was Louie with Segura. And he just said, he goes, do you want to hear my favorite joke that I'm I think I just heard recently, but it's my favorite. And mm -hmm. he told it. And now I've noticed, though, it's like it's kind of going viral. Um, yeah, people are people are. Again, so it someone's yes, and, someone at dinner the other night. There was six of us, yeah. and someone threw it out there. Uh, and and then I saw on Instagram, Natterman must have found out because he's got the clip out now of him doing it, which is great. So uh, oh, I don't want to talk funny. about that, you know, because we've we've gone to a couple of these dinners between the holidays of people we haven't seen in six months or more. So we said, let's get these in before I leave town. We're not going to be here for New Year's. Um, so uh, we're at uh, uh, Wolfgang Puck's new restaurant. It's a rooftop restaurant, very trendy, Ooh. LA. Ooh. Who's going to be seen? Celebrity kind of hangout, and uh, yeah. So. Uh, we went to very expensive, uh, very oh, delicious. Good. Decor is incredible. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I, it's it's supposed to be Asian fusion, but it's I, we don't. But it's a French sounding name or spelling M E R T R O I S. Wouldn't you think that would be M E R T O I S? Yeah. No T. No T. M E R O I S. Oh, M E R O I S. I I stand corrected. Uh, don't fall Moreau? down. What are you doing? I go I go Moreau. Climbing. Uh, you gonna go Moreau? Moreau, yeah. Uh, so it's not 
Mirach. It's not Mirach. No? no. Like no. Petit Trois. That's, right. That's right. Take the Long Island guy. All right. So anyways, um, <laughs> we went there. So I, I think I'm right. And it's a fancy place. So we get escorted up to the rooftop fancy. elevator. It's it's Ooh. pretty pretty fancy schmancy. Fancy. Yeah. So I walk in. I'm doing my uh, blue collar guy. I'm like, yeah, they got the game on. I want to see the game. You know, because the charges were playing, of course. So I get there. I walk in. There's a that blue collar guy. You can't have a TV on with a football game. Well, it's a fancy Why restaurant. Not? I wasn't expecting. As soon as I walk in, 85 inch screen with the game right. on right there. Goddamn. Yeah. Goddamn, <laughs> Goddamn right. Yeah. You're damn right. I ordered a cold red. I didn't, I didn't come to Moreau <laughs> to not watch the game. Can't believe you didn't mean? laugh at that. <laughs> Dr. Moreau. So I went to Dr. Moreau. So, all of a sudden, of so I'm Moreau. sitting there. I, I order two drinks, me and Bernadette, and we're a half oh, hour man. early waiting for our friends to show up. And, uh, Ooh. And this guy walks up. He's like wearing like a track suit, like a rich guy track suit. He's got these huge glasses and a baseball cap. And he like walks right up like th this to me. And he's squinty. He goes, what is the score? And it's fucking Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> All right. Like, <laughs> here I am. Oh. Here I am going, oh, I hope I see a celebrity. That'd be kind of cool, right? And he's right here. And I'm like, oh, I go, oh, we're looking forward to uh, eating here. This is my first time. He goes, order the boneless fish. It's really good. That yeah. and the Peking duck. Okay. <laughs> and then my buddy walks in, who's a lawyer, and he says, oh, hey, how are you? I go, uh, we met before. Da, ba, ba, ba. I represented your partner. And he goes, oh, yes, how is he? Ba, ba. And all of a sudden, we have dinner, and then six desserts come over. And are plopped on top of the uh, table, and we all have that free dessert. Kind of cool. Why? Oh, why free? Just because you talked to uh, Puck earlier? Or, yeah, and he knew my him, or... my lawyer friend. So they got, had, they had history. Yeah, so it was kind of cool. And, wow. and he, each dessert was like twenty five dollars. It was crazy. That's a uh, good start. Why? I, I would have opened with that story. I don't well, know I can I can fix it in editing. Yeah. yeah, but you never do. But that would be good. That's a good, <laughs> good tell. <laughs> <laughs> um hey do you know in pucks wolfgang pucks the the wine list has a lot of a uh, little uh easter eggy type shit Hid there's stuff hidden in there in the labels uh, no no if you know your wines he'll bury he'll put like a an 800 dollars bottle of wine on the list for like 200 no. and if you know it if you're good and you know it you got it there's really a, yeah, there's uh, there's one with like a I, I forget the wine obviously, but a couple grand, and he has it for like say eight hundred, but it's you know it's one of these five thousand dollar bottles, but it's on there. So and some rich dude would be like, like "Well, this is a five thousand dollar bottle. We're gonna get it for eight hundred. and he's like, "Sucker, right. I got it for forty. <laughs> well, or it'd be like, but, you know, I got it for forty dollars." Yeah, but it's you know if you know your wine. And, uh, you know, you go to Wolfgang Pucks, you look through the wine list, you might find a, a hell of a deal. You know, if that if that's a I, deal. I, 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 I would actually I would actually go back there for the fish because it was superb. Best fish I've ever had. I think it was like a rock ever. fish ever. Oh, rock fish. And they deboned it. They pulled out the spine and removed all, you know, with tweezers. Ah! Oh, not and funny. they left the head on. So these big eyes staring at you. And a couple of people couldn't do it. They're like, "Oh, can you turn it?" So we turned it away towards me, and it was looking right at me because they couldn't handle it. I go, "It's a, it's a, it's a fish head. Relax." Fish, fish heads, heads, fish, fish heads. Head. Who sings holy, fish heads? Holy fish heads. The great Barnes and Barnes. Bar Barnes and Barnes. Ding 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 ding. That was a trivia question on our last pod, and if you listened to it, you would know that. I think uh, the great Doctor Demento debuted them and brought them to fame. Uh, fish heads, fish heads. And if you're it's under a, a 48 time. years old, you have no, no fucking no clue what we're talking about. No, it was a simpler time, man. We listened to the radio and we heard fish heads and we laughed. Very simple time. Very simple. You know what I mean? There was, we were all simple. It's hard to explain. We didn't, we didn't need much to stimulate ourselves. We didn't have social media, iPhones. And we didn't have anything. We didn't have Instagram. Well, if you think about Instagram was when you call up your coke dealer and you wanted coke in a hurry. <laughs> that sounds bad. I found um, your clip. I, I said three that. jokes today and I I, I did the silly, the silly laugh afterwards and you're saying it wasn't necessary. I liked all the jokes. 
I was laughing at each one. Then you went, bah, 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 bah. I'm like, what do you think? That's a good joke. You can do that. That's what I'm saying. Well, you no conditioned me. Once again, you conditioned me. Every time I say <laughs> something that might be semi-funny, I'm ready for you to fucking hip you're check like a, me. Send me to the boards. You're like, you're like a wife who blinks a lot because you're ready to get hit. Uh, uh, don't hit me. Oh, do you know, do you know that Bernadette flinches? Bernadette will flinch. Like I'll yeah. walk I'll walk up behind her and she goes, huh, like this? In front of other Stack people. A little bit. <laughs> what well, I'm saying, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you, they're gonna think I beat you. So now cool. I gotta start beating her. A little, a little wall therapy every now and then, Alfred. Yeah. Not the worst. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You keep in line. Keep in line. Okay. When are you hitting the road? When you uh when I you have an, uh, a flight tomorrow morning. Uh I'm gonna fly out of LAX. I'm gonna go through Phoenix on to New Orleans, and then I will overnight there. Joining the Radiance of the Seas for two weeks, heading down to Mexico and Grand Cayman Islands. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. What takes you so long? The pregnant pause after that. I got to go in and cut that out now. Uh, so it's like, happy New Year, happy New Year. Boom, out. I didn't know we were in the middle of a wrap. Good luck in prison. Iceberg. Oh, oh, it. Don't forget to review us and rate us. It really helps. The Talking Dicks became friends at a very young age. And the rest is history. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash The Two Dicks, which is named after our web series. This is the Talking Dicks Comedy Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. What? Done. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. We'll fix it in post, you son of a bitch. Okay, sure. All right. <laughs> ah. Subscribe. Mm, Mary. Mm, 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 mm. This was a mm. horrible mistake. Arr. Go to patreon.com slash forward the two dicks. If you shoot me, you won't see a cent of that money. Why? I think it ends on that. That's that's beautiful.